video, I'm going to be reviewing the Bellamy hair extensions. I've had these extensions for a while, and I've absolutely loved them. Um, I recently, recently purchased a new set to match my new hair color, and so I thought this would be a perfect time to sort of review the quality of the extensions, how to put them in, how long they last, um, and stuff like that. Because honestly, the ex these extensions are so amazing. So to start off, I'm just going to show you guys my natural hair length. This is how it looks. It's about down to here. Um, my hair is fairly, it's gotten fairly long, but the ends are very thin. So that's why I like using these extensions to sort of make them fuller and long. This set of extensions I have are the um, 220 grams that are 22 inches long. This is in Mochaccino, Mochaccino Brown. And it looks like this. These extensions are super smooth, like they are so, so soft. So the set comes with two three clip lefts. You have this one right here, and then you have this one. And they're the same size, again, they are very thick. And then it also see. comes with a small four clip left. And then it comes with a larger four clip left. It comes with two two clip lefts. I did misplace my other two clip. But um, yeah, one of the two clip lefts are come in as a sample. So when you receive your belly hair extensions, there's a separate um, little flap at the bottom that you can pull out one of the two clip lefts. And that's what you would use to determine if the um, set matches your hair exactly or not. And if it doesn't match, you can send it back. You just can't open the rest of the package. It comes with a separate little opening with the second um, two And then clip it also comes with these four single clips I never in a million years ever use these like ever I just find these really annoying to be honest because I feel like they are just gonna slip out but a way that you can use this is if you notice that your bottom lefts are starting to thin out you can always just um, clip these onto it like so and it'll make the weave the bottom so wet are amazing they're super soft and they're 100% human hair you can um, Use, you can wash them like normal, you can style them with heat, um, you can even put hairspray and stuff in them and it's not going to ruin the extensions. You just take care of it the way you would take care of your normal hair but with a little more caution. So now I'm going to show you how to clip in the extensions. Now for an everyday use, I only use three of the wefts. So first I'm going to show you guys. Um, how I clip in my everyday extensions with just the three wefts and then I'm going to show you how it looks with it all in so you guys can see seriously how full the extensions are. But I like um, using in all the wefts when I'm either um, going to some special event and I really want my hair to just look very full and pretty and so that's when I feel like it would be necessary to put in all the wefts because it is a lot of hair. Like. So for my everyday use, I always start off with the two clips. And the way I like putting in these extensions is so that it doesn't look like I'm wearing extensions so that I'm able to flip my hair side to side so that you won't see different tracks because I hate when you can like, when I can't turn my hair this way because this is going to show. Turn around and show you. And I just start off put on and sectioning off the top of my hair. I leave about this much at the bottom and then I just grab a piece of hair, twirl it a little and then clip it onto it. Then I grab another piece of hair with my finger and kind of twirl it so that it's, um, the, the clip can get a nice firm grip on it and then I just close it and then that is my first um, so it'll look like this. And, we're done. and look how long this is. It's ridiculous how long this hair is, but it looks really, really nice when it's all in. At next section, I'm doing the same thing, and I'm just going to go about this far up from my last section. That's where I clip in the larger four, four clip. This one, I clip that in there, and I usually um, try to put it right like near my ears or above my ears. The same thing to where I twist my hair, clip, 
I like starting in the middle and then I finish off on the sides. And then for the top of my hair, I take one of the three clip wefts and I just apply that to the crown of my head. So you don't want to apply it too high up because then if you lean forward, you're going to see your, um, you're going to be able to see the track and nobody wants to see that. That just doesn't look right. So I like starting about where my eyebrows are and I just grab my hair like that. And then I'll do the same thing that I did before. So I'll twist the hair, clip, and then I'll grab it, twist, clip, grab it, twist, clip, and then I'll flip my hair back. And this is how it looks. I can't tell if you guys can see, but it does blend in pretty nicely. And I like how natural it looks. But yeah, it blends in really nicely, and I really mainly like using this for the fullness and. It just adds more dimension to your hair. And as you can see with how I um, clip my extensions and I'm able to flip my hair side to side, but I no. put it backwards, can do whatever I want and it's not gonna show at all. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how it looks with all of the extensions I clipped in. So I'm gonna start off with, again, the clip, the bottom of the bottom. This is the one with the two. And I like using this on the bottom because since the bottom of your head is very narrow, it cuts really nicely. It just kind of makes everything come together. I only the three where when I was before, I only used one of the, these three clips. Three clips, I put them all the bottom. I'm gonna be using right above the second double at the end of my hair. I just got the bubble clip. And again, I'm using the one to be going. I like that much double and then click this right over the clip. Okay, now I'm gonna be taking the okay the larger forker again and I'm gonna be placing that over the uh, and I'm gonna uh, purple clip or I'm gonna go a little bit like towards the middle of my ear is a little I'm going to kind of up the hair to the middle is where I'm in the grass going to put that up. I'm just to follow up. Again, you want to leave about an inch of a difference between the last leave of track and then for the where you're going to be stitching the new track. And the, so I'm just twisting, placing it being again on the extension. And deep. Now, now I'm going to be taking the smaller um, four track what he and I'm going to be placing that but right above the larger four clip one and right again probably um, a little bit above my ear is where I'm probably going to be grabbing a little bit here here's where I'm going and then taking the last triple clip one I'm going to be placing that on the crown of my hair again you don't want to apply too high up or else um, again, you are going to be able to see it when you lean forward and that's just going to get annoying. It's super thick as you can see look at this do you see this like it is crazy it literally just feels like I have a whole second to the pair but and it blends in very nicely to wash my extensions I use the um, main and tail shampoo and conditioner again this isn't sulfate free so it probably isn't the best but it does work and it comes with a lot so it's more of an affordable but um, so when but I wash them, I usually extension. just grab all the wefts together, and I will just um, I will just tie the I'll grab it like so, leaving all the clips on top, and just tie it with a rubber band. And then I will just run it under warm water and use um, probably about like this much shampoo, and just work that through the extensions. And then once that is done, I um, rinse that out and apply my conditioner. I let the conditioner sit into the extensions for about five to ten minutes before rinsing it out with cold water. 
Now we're saying with cold water helps all the moisture stay in the extensions so that way they Another are moist longer. Another thing that's with the extensions is to use either a leave-in conditioner or just stuff to keep them moist because since they're not your natural hair, they're not going to reproduce their own oils. So you're going to need to keep um, moisturizing them and conditioning them. Uh, the good thing about this mane and tail conditioner is that it can be used as a leave-in conditioner as well. So sometimes I will just, right before I take it, once I rinse it out, I'll just put like literally like a pea-sized amount in a little bit of water and I'll just put that through the extension so that it sets in and, and um, stays in there and leaves it moisturized. And then also say I won't wash it for like another a few days, I know as they're starting to get dry, I will just get a pea size and a little bit of water, mix that together and just run it through the extension. Another thing I like using for the extension is this Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine um, Moroccan Sleek Oil Treatment. And I will just, you know, grab a little bit of them out and just put it through my extensions pretty much every day just so they're smoothed out. It's also really good for your hair. And you could also even use this as a conditioner. Once you shampoo it, you can just use this and just let it sit for like 20 minutes and then rinse it out and then it'll be super smooth and this stuff was only five dollars now the most important thing about taking care of your extensions is to treat them like your normal hair so you will need to use heat protection if you're going to be using heat. so i like using the tresemme thermal creations one and this works really good and then i'm able to heat style it however one more thing i didn't mention how i let my extensions dry i um once i'm finished um, washing them I'll just like bring it out with a um, towel and then I will lay them out either on any flat surface like my bed or I'll lay out a towel on the floor and just lay out the extensions like so um, I usually don't brush them out while they're wet because I found that if I brush them while they're wet a lot of hair it's easy for the hair to get pulled out. Same thing with your normal hair. If you brush your hair while it's wet, it'll just pull on the hair and it's really not bad. Also, when detangling hair. your hair, it's um, the extension hair. It's good to use a wide tooth comb like this. Not this side, just this side. Um, by using brushes like this with too many bristles, it's going to pull out the hair and thin it out faster. So it's always good to use a wide tooth comb and then you just brush it out on the bottom and then brush it upwards. You don't want to brush up down like this, that's just going to fall off the hair. You want to start on the bottom and slowly work your way up. So you are going to have to take extra care into your extensions in order to get the most of them and get the most of your money so that they don't wear out as fast. Some of the styling tools I like using with the extensions are the Bellamy. This is the Bellamy um, straightener. Um, I don't... I'm gonna be honest, I don't like using this for my normal hair because it just, it doesn't straighten it as well for my normal hair. But I found when I use this with the extensions, it keeps the shine locked into the extensions like super good so that they feel brand new all the time. Where I found that with the, I mean, with the other straighteners, it just dried out my extensions super fast. So I guess the pleats in this really help lock in the moisture of the extensions. So I really, really recommend if you're gonna be using extensions to buy a, a straightener like this that will that way you're able to apply heat to it, but it'll keep in the moisture and keep the natural feeling of the extension. I also thing. like you these styling tools. I think I've mentioned this in my favorites video. It's this curling wand, the 6-in-1 curling wand set. This stuff is amazing and you can create all sorts of looks, especially with the extensions. Without the extensions, it's amazing. You can get all six of these wands and a base that you just remove it and clip it on and you can just do all sorts of things so if you guys are interested in purchasing any of this stuff I'll leave the links to that yeah. down below. Another cool thing about the Bellamy hair extensions is that when you purchase them if you don't know your color you can email them a pic and they will color match you. Um, I found that their customer service is amazing. They get back to you as soon as they can and they're super super friendly about it so if you guys are interested in purchasing these ex like any extensions I would definitely recommend going through them because you will definitely be a very satisfied customer. So that pretty much customer. wraps it up for all about my extensions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys found it helpful. Um, leave comments down below for any other questions or concerns that you guys might have with these extensions. I'll leave the links to everything down below but um, yeah I hope I just kind of answered everything pretty much and if I forgot anything again let me know down below. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys soon.